Hi everyone, hope you're well. So I'm Ryan. I'm a graduate of the Cotton Blue. Uh, today I'll be making a very simple and healthy recipe. It's salmon avocado toast. So alright, over here I'm using a sourdough loaf with grains. So in Singapore you can opt for those bread that they sell in packets in NTUC or you can buy it from bakeries for this type of loaves. So alright. So I'll be cutting two slices of this. So each Thickness will be approximately 1 cm. So, alright, cut it. Cut it, alright. So, it is always better to use a serrated knife to cut, and it's safer as well. So, you will cut through the bread nicely. So, alright, keep the bread aside. These two bread as well. So, later I'll be lightly toasting these two slices of bread. Next, get your tomato. So, alright. So every tomato comes with a core. So in order to remove the core, take a small paring knife. So be very careful when you hold it. So hold it by the top, the tip. So simply just go around the tomato, the head, and then it will come out on its own. So yeah. So over here is the core. So all right, I'll be cutting two thin slices, or in other words, two rings of the tomato slices. So alright, two thin slices. So the length, uh, the thickness of this tomato is approximately 0.3 cm to 0.5 cm. So set it aside as well. And then next, lemon. So give your shopping cart a clean wipe. So alright, just simply cut the lemon into half, just like this. And next, uh, I'll be using red onion instead of uh, normal white onion. So this is the stem, and this is the root. The part with the hair is the root. So just cut off the stem and the root. So all right. So how do you peel this um, onion? I will be using slices in this way. So I will be using a small paring knife to peel the skin. So you'll definitely be faster. So alright. So just simply hold your knife and pull against the skin. So alright. Pull against the skin. So pull the skin out. So alright, pull it out. And the last part. So alright, put the knife aside and clean up your chopping board. So alright, for the thickness of the red onion, it's approximately 0.3 cm to 0.5 cm as well. So just hold the red onion firmly, make sure that it doesn't sway left and right, and always put your chopping board on an anti-slip surface. So just cut it thinly. Alright. Alright. Put your knife aside and the red onion aside as well. So alright, always make sure that your chopping board is clean. So I'll give it a quick wipe. Alright, now I'll be doing the avocado. So how do you test the ripeness of the avocado? So it's always best to just press it when you go to the supermarket, but always be sure to use a plastic bag to wrap it over and then to, before you press it. Alright, so if it's soft, it means that it's overripe. But if it's still soft to firm, it means that it's ripe. Whereas if it's very firm, it means it's unripe. So alright, definitely opt for a paring knife instead of a chef knife for safety wise. So alright, just cut the avocado like this and tilt it and do it for all four sides. So alright, just twist the avocado and you get it out. So alright, take a paring knife, knock it and twist it. So alright, for stubborn avocados, simply just use a spoon and go on the outsides of the peat. So that way you get a peat out. 
If you manage to use a knife to get out of pit, always make sure that you press against the chopping board instead of using your hand for safety purposes. So alright, right now I'll be cutting the avocado into small pieces. Sorry, tilt it to the side as well. Do it the same for the other piece. Tilt it. Alright, put your knife aside. Alright, get the bowl that you want to put your avocado in. So I'm going to season it with chili flakes and lemon juice. You can add in other herbs such as Italian herbs or any other seasoning that you want. Or you can even opt for pepper. So alright. So half down and the other half. So just simply go on the outsides of it. Follow the surface and you get it up. So alright, just one more. You got it up. So alright, right now I'm gonna season it with lemon juice. So if you are using lemon with seeds, just squeeze it in the bowl first. So use a fork, press in the lemon to get all the juice out. Alright, so when it's out, get a sifter and just simply sift it in. Alright, I've got in around one or two dashes of chili flakes. Alright, and I'm gonna lightly mash the avocado. So I'm gonna maintain the chunky, the chunky part of the avocado and still get some of the puree. So it will look nice having a combination of both. So mash it. Mash it. Alright. If you want an easier way to eat the avocado, you can completely mash it. But for aesthetic wise, I will definitely go for a combination of both. Alright, so it's done. Leave it on the side. Alright, put your bread in the toaster. So I'm going to toast it on medium heat. If you're not using a toaster, but using an oven to toast the bread, simply preheat the oven to 150 degrees Celsius and check every two minutes to make sure that it doesn't turn brown or over toast. So I just want to lightly toast it and I'll get the crispy texture. So alright, so just get a plate that you want to plate it on. Okay, and for the toast, it will take approximately around 30 seconds to 1 minute to toast in a toaster. I don't want to toast it till it's complete. So alright. So right now it's done. So I just want to warm the toast. So okay, next. Get the ingredients. So okay, these are the onion, tomato and the smoked salmon. So line the bottom with avocado first. So simply take it up and fully cover the toes with avocado because avocado is yummy. Alright, so simply spread it all around. So I've tried this recipe a few times and during, during the trial period when I crafted this recipe I, I fell in love with avocado. I wasn't a full fan of avocado in the past, but ever since I came to Australia, I, I tried many, many food, and avocado is one thing which is really very good with a lot of health benefits. And the best part about it 
is that you get the nutrition that you need just by eating one avocado. So alright, so this recipe will fit one avocado fully, just nice. So alright, measure around and it's done. Okay, next, add in the tomato slices. Okay. Okay, and then next, I'll be using the red onion, just the center part of the tin rings for aesthetic purposes. For the rest of the onion, you can use it to make other variations such as subbing the hot smoked salmon with chicken. Alright, so two onion rings each. And the same process for the other one, alright? So for hot smoked salmon, you can either use a knife to tear it up or just simply use your hand to tear it up. For me, I like convenience, so I'm going to use my hand to tear it up and I'm just going to layer it on top. Alright. So if you do want so many pieces of smoked salmon in your dish, you can just reduce the recipe by adding in two slices to get the taste that you want. Alright. Do the same for the other one. Okay. Alright, so right now it's done. Do like and share Safra Tambini's page and let them know what recipe you like to see in the future. Alright, and if you're lazy to make this avocado sandwich at home after you work out, head over to Renew Snacks Garage at Safra Tambini's because they offer a good range of avocado sandwiches and other sandwiches. They also sell nuts and spread. So, ciao.